Hi guys, welcome to my channel Lush Gardner. I hope you guys are fine and are safe. In today's video, we'll be talking about top dressing. Is it good or is it bad? Now, there is nothing as wrong or right. There is nothing what you're doing is wrong or there is nothing what I'm doing is right. It completely depends upon an individual. Apart from it being an individual choice to use top dressing, there are a lot of factors that depend whether you should use it or not. And that's what we are going to discuss in this video. Now, the most important thing you might have seen or you might have come across a lot of succulent pictures on Instagram, on Facebook, on a lot of social uh, websites. And you have seen a lot of people tend to use top dressing. So this is where you need to understand the person who has posted this picture with top dressing, what kind of environment does that person belong to it's not necessary that you also have the same kind of environment or the same type of climate like what i have seen people in korea in china have been using a uh, top dressing for a couple of years now apart from climate there is another major thing the reason why top dressing is used so that the soil does not dry out faster because a lot of these people from korea from china they tend to use a mix that is very soilless now due to this what happens is because there is no soil uh, the moisture in the potting mix tends to dry out much faster and that is one of the reason why they tend to use uh, the top dressing so that the soil does not dry out faster because as you know that our succulents also tend to need a little bit of water before it starts to dry out so that they can have a quick drink now i personally do not use a uh, top dressing now again guys this is my take on uh, adding top dressing uh, it's completely your choice if you want to add you can if you do not want to add it's your choice i personally do not add top dressing if anyone tends to ask me i advise them not to do so because uh, the place where i stay it's a very tropical environment the soil does take a lot of time to dry apart from that the mix that i tend to use it has around 20 percent of uh, the garden soil and hence it takes little time for the soil to dry so if in case i tend to use top dressing now as i've seen a lot of people tend to use a lot of pebbles on the surface of the soil uh, now over here just for example i'm using leka because i do not have pebbles i don't do top dressing so i'm going to just uh, give you an example this is how i have seen a lot of people tend to add a lot of pebbles on the surface of the soil now when i asked a couple of people they said that uh, some people said that they just do it because it looks pretty some people said that they do it because uh, so that the leaves do not come in contact with water uh, whereas some people said that uh, you know it's just for aesthetic wise it just looks good now remember guys just because you feel that it looks good you do not want to torture your succulent by doing so especially if you belong to a place that's very humid if it's very warm uh, if you belong to a coastal area uh, it is going to be a very tough thing to have your succulent like this because when you're going to put up all of these pebbles uh, it is going to trap a lot of moisture uh, within the soil Apart from this, it's going to be very difficult for you to understand whether your soil is dried out or not and when it's time to water. Remember, I have spoken about this earlier. If you're not very sure about watering, you can use a stick to poke into the soil and check if the soil is moist or not. In this case, it's going to be very difficult for you because you'll have to take out the pebbles poke the stick and then put the pebbles back again so one by doing this it's going to be very difficult for you to check when your soil is dry and when it's time to water it's going to be slightly difficult but again as i said you can always check for the wrinkles on the leaves you might realize okay it's time to water so let's say that let's clear that doubt probably you're going to do that way now the next thing what's going to happen is especially if you're from a subtropical or a tropical environment or if you belong to an environment that is very humid when you're going to water the soil, the soil is going to stay moist beneath for a longer period of time because you have covered them with pebbles and the soil cannot get dried. Now, when this is going to happen, one, your succulent might get rotted. Another issue is even if your succulent does not tend to get rotted, the environment that you have created within the pot is going to stay damp and moist. And you know what happens when the soil is damp and moist. It is going to encourage mold and fungus. And again, that is going to be a problem because that is directly going to affect your roots. And a lot of people have been telling that it's absolutely fine. Uh, now, remember, guys, when you tend to add pebbles like this, it's not that your succulent is going to die the very next day. It is going to stay in there for some time before the problems start to happen. 
So if you're just doing it for the sake of the aesthetic look, I would suggest don't do it. Because remember guys, succulents belong to an environment wherein they are in open. Uh, there is no top dressing in their natural habitat. They hardly have any soil. There is a good amount of airflow. That is the most important thing what a succulent needs and that is air circulation. That is the reason why we tend to make the soil loose and porous so that the roots will be able to breathe within the soil. The roots do not go too deep into the soil. If you are going to add pebbles like this, basically restricting the airflow, the air circulation, and then there will be a lot of problems. Apart from this, the kind of environment you have created can also call in a lot of unwanted visitors. A lot of bugs can also house into it. Now, this all depends because I do not use it because I have a lot of soil in my mix. Uh, it's not going to work out really well. Even though my soil tends to dry really fast, I can use top dressing, but I avoid doing that because I like my succulents to be very free. I like the top layer of the soil to be airy. I have a lot of sand in my soil, which makes the air flow easily. Uh, if you're going to pack a lot of pebbles on top of it, it will also heat up the soil during the summers. A lot of issues, especially if you are from a place like what I have. And I have seen a lot of people tend to message me and say that they belong to a place which is very warm and humid. So definitely a majority of you, if you are going to refrain from using pebbles, I would always suggest that is a good idea. Please do not pack in. A lot of times I have seen a lot of pictures wherein people do share the pictures. Uh, the succulent upper layer of soil is completely packed with a lot of pebbles and uh, a lot of people tend to use these white shiny pebbles which you get in the aquarium shop. Again guys, if you are going to put these uh, kind of pots in morning direct sunlight, the soil, the pebbles will get heated. So please don't do things which are not needed. Let your succulent grow, especially this is very common with a lot of beginners what I have seen. Uh, I tend to use soil in my uh, mix, even though it's 20%, I do not prefer to use any kind of top dressing. You can see my succulent is doing absolutely fine without uh, adding any pebbles. Uh, aesthetic look does matter, but not at the cost of your succulent. Let your succulent be very free. Let the top layer be free from any kind of obstruction. I know a lot of people like to add a little bit of decoration. That's absolutely fine. But don't go to an extent wherein you completely pack the upper layer of soil. You completely make it very congested for the succulent and for the succulent roots. So let that be area be free so that there is a good amount of air circulation between uh, the succulent roots and the soil. Now, apart from this, I have also seen uh, now these are just examples from what I've heard from people. I'm not quite sure. I'm sure there are more reasons why top dressing is allowed. But when people told me that they use top dressing for these reasons, like uh, just because they want the succulent to look pretty or some people say that it's because uh, so that the water does not splash onto the leaves or that the leaves do not come in contact with water so that's the reason why i'm making this video to show you certain things what you can do so here i'm going to show you a quick uh, tip i'm sure you all know how to water succulents but i'm going to show it to you once again because as a lot of people said the succulent leaves tend to come in contact with water. Now over here, I'm going to be using a bottle which has this nozzle and I'm going to place the nozzle very close to the soil so that I'm watering only the soil without dropping any water on the succulent leaves or without the succulent leaves coming in touch with the water. Now remember guys, your best option if you have this trouble of uh, touching water onto the leaves, go for bottom watering. There is nothing to be worried about. But let's say that you do not have an option of bottom watering. Let's say that you have too many pots and you cannot do bottom watering or you cannot move your succulents for bottom watering or you can use a bottle like this. Now, guys, everything has its uh, pros and cons. Uh, the pro is that uh, you can water your succulents very easily uh, without dropping any water onto the leaves. But another issue is that the disadvantage of this bottle is that you have to refill it every now and then and you need to put a little bit of pressure to water. So that is the disadvantage, but it is not going to splash any water onto the leaves. It is not going to wet your leaves and you need to do the right technique. Keep the nozzle very close to the soil and water. As you can see, my leaves are not coming in contact with the water and the soil. Over the period of time, these lower leaves will tend to fall. You can see a lot of dry leaves. 
they will fall off so there is nothing to be worried whether you drop water onto the leaves on the lower leaves whether the dirt comes in contact with the lower leaves over the period of time these leaves will fall off they will get dried that is how the succulent tends to grow now apart from this you can also see my other succulent uh, I'm going to show it to you another way what you can do if you feel that the nozzle is taking a lot of time you can just water it from the edges like this very very carefully ensure that you do not water any you do not drop any water on the leaves you can even go for this option and as you can see my soil is well draining the water has started to pass through the drain hole which means that I have done a complete watering guys please do not just wet the upper layer of the soil and leave the lower layer of the soil uh, without watering i have seen a lot of people do that they say that they are scared that they are going to overwater your succulent guys this is called as half watering if you're just wetting the upper layer of soil the upper layer of soil will dry out really quick and you're not hydrating the roots this again can become a problem so whenever you're watering if you are scared of overwatering, wait for some time when you're done with your weight, when you feel you're confident that your soil is completely bone dry, then do a complete watering until the water starts passing to the drain hole. Do not do half watering. That is not a very good practice for your succulents. Your roots will get exhausted. They will dry out without much water. And you can also see the pot on my left hand side. You can see the stem is so much elevated above the soil. Uh, there is no chance that uh, the leaves will come in contact with the soil or with water it's right at an uh, height so definitely if you're going to water this if you're going to use pebbles for such a succulent it's unnecessary waste of pebbles and it's making things complicated for your succulents so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you once again as i say it's completely your choice you need to check what kind of environment what kind of climate you have what is the soil mix what is the potting container you're using because if you're going to use top dressing for a pot that is a ceramic pot or a plastic pot ceramic and plastic pot is already going to retain moisture adding the upper layer of soil with uh, pebbles is going to further more retain more moisture so it completely depends upon you if it works out well for you well and good if it doesn't then take out all of the top dressing but obviously you can always have a very minimum uh, decor on your succulents like as you can see over here i've used a pebble over here you can do something like this rather than you know completely covering the surface with soil you can add probably one or two of a decoration or a miniature toy that will work out really well so guys i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating